Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I just want to say one thing about this raid that happened down in Florida uh, yesterday. They are unleashing something that none of them can control. And the only thing that I think it's going to result in is more division and more anger and more vitriol and a more divided, fractured and dysfunctional America. And uh, I, I don't know what the answer is at this point. I, I think America needs an independent political party that's not beholden to any, any, any of these people who are so compromised at this point. They could not do the right thing even if they wanted to. It's not possible for them to do the right thing anymore. They have been compromised seven ways from Sunday, twice on Monday, 10 times on Tuesday, 100 times on Wednesday, and the rest of the week, it's every second of every day they live is another compromise. I just wanna say one other thing. I knew a, I've known a lot of these people, but I knew a person once who said something to me and it stuck with me all these years. And he said, Cynthia, I would rather be dead than take another phone call from these people. I want you to think about that. And I, 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 I want people to think about what's going on in America. And I want them to really sort of hone in and zero in on the fact that we are losing this nation every single day a little bit more. And I, I, I'd like people to also some, realize something else. The real enemies of America, the people who have, who want what we have, who want what we have, the wealth, the innovation, the genius, the, the, the work ethic, the, all of the good things about America. The people who want that for themselves, but they want it under their complete and total control, meaning that there is no freedom. There is, it's like Orwell said, slavery is freedom, up is down, down is up, Truth are lies, lies are truth, all people are equal. That's bullshit. We all know that that is bullshit. That is absolute and total bullshit. People can say whatever they want about me. At my age, I do not care. I, I have a very good life at this point. I've been around for a long time. I've done a lot of different things. Some things have succeeded and some things have not. But the things I'm most proud of in my life, no one can take away from me. That is the result of living your values, living your values. And that's what I've tried to do. I did right by my children. I've done right by my grandchildren. Um, frankly, in many ways, I've shown tremendous restraint, but with age comes freedom. As you start to get into your 50s and 60s, you realize, number one, you don't know how much time you have left. And number two, the petty opinions and the gossip and the backbiting and the cruelty, the cruel things that people can say don't matter. In the, in the, in the broad scheme of things, they don't matter. You can only do what you think is best, what you think is right, and what you think is fair. And if you do that, and you always try to make the right choice with the right purpose and the right thought, which is Buddhism, then you're gonna be okay. This is a crazy world. What's happening now with the war in Europe, with China rattling its sabers, with all of this, I don't know how it's going to end, but I know that what's happening in America right now is setting, up, setting us up for a place that none of us wanna be. And it's dangerous. And I hope that somebody, some, some group of people 
can try to put America back on the right course. And I don't think that's going to be a Democrat or a Republican. I think it's going to be a totally different kind of cat or kitten. And I think, I think America is in for the mother of all wake up calls. And these guys going after him in this way with the, with the January, I mean, the January 6th was bad. And oh, you thought January 6th was bad? Raiding his house is going to bring these people out in a way that you can't imagine. If they thought they could, they could set up and control January 6th, they didn't control it, did they? A lot of people ended up dead. So I hope that somewhere, someone is thinking about what they're doing and can really kind of see where this is going and foresee the consequences of their action. And that's what I hope today. And that's all I'm going to say on this. And uh, I just don't have anything else to say about it. And I'm going to pray for everybody involved. And I'm going to pray for America because America needs prayers. We've got a wide open border. They are running a human and child trafficking operation, drug trafficking, weapons trafficking, medical trafficking, unseen in human history. Is anybody talking about that? No, but they're raiding this man's house looking for documents that they could have called his lawyer on the phone and said, you need to bring these documents back. And they're setting people up for a terrible, terrible outcome. That's all on this today. And now I'm going to switch gears and do something else. Have a good day.